Receptor. My lord, it has begun. The power is already building. Are you ready for your task? We shall not fail you, my lord. The price of failure is Armageddon. God go with you. What does that mean? Oh, there was a girl in Paris, but it didn't work out. <laughs> oh, way to go, mate. I've heard about those French babes. <laughs> I think she'd be interested in a good-looking Aussie pushman, eh? Only if it helped her career. <laughs> Weather like this, the old crate flies herself. How about weather like that? to yet another clear hot day. In the south, the bizarre weather continues. Marseille, 20 days of rain. Bordeaux, 30. And across the world, from Beijing to New York, there are reports of earth tremors, floods, typhoons. Who is it? Vernon Blier? It's Nico Collard. You're early. You said it was uh, urgent. We don't have much time. The power sources are building to a peak. It's all in the manuscript. Look, I decoded it. No one's ever done that. They paid me serious money. But the Earth? We're all in danger. Now they want to kill me because I know too much. Somehow we'd landed in the jungle, and I was alive. Then I smelled smoke. I was going to have to get out, and fast. I unfastened the seatbelt carefully. We were balanced on top of the cliff. In a situation like this, smoke was a bad thing. safe at all. We were balanced on the edge of a cliff, and now I was trapped in the rear half of the plane. A buckle and strap held the crate tightly to a metal frame. The buckle was quick release. I soon had the crate freed up.
You never know when a beer is going to come in handy. It was Harry Gilligan, the pilot, out cold. Searching Harry turned up a handy bottle opener. Harry! Harry, wake up! <laughs> Slapping him wasn't going to work. Harry's fire extinguisher was in worse shape than Harry. Harry's fire extinguisher was in worse shape than Harry. The glass was cracked. I wasn't strong enough to push it out. Here goes. Yes. Whoa. Maybe not. I was going to need more weight at the back of the plane. But what? Whoa! Maybe not. It was Harry Gilligan, the pilot, out cold. We were balanced on top of the cliff. There was no way of opening the window. Cheers, mate. Oh, came to a while back. <laughs> Thought I'd grab 40 winks. I oh, don't get much chance in my line. Uh, oh. What were you doing flying us into that storm? You nearly got us killed! Oh, calm down, will ya? The storm came from nowhere. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Weird. So how far is it to the landing strip? Well, not far. We were right on top of it when the storm hit. You okay, Harry? Sure, mate. Harry, we need more ballast at the back of the plane. Okay, George, if you think it'll help. Harry, just don't move! You bet! No, not yet! Harry, stay there! Phew, that was close. Oh, I don't know. Could have been worse. Yeah? I might still have been in it. Trying to cheer me up, Harry? Ah, you know, you're not bad for a yank. That makes me feel a whole lot better. We make a great team. Hmm. Oh, I could help you out, here, with your work. Be your driver. Sort out the locals. Harry, 
Like I told you, I'm only here to meet someone, then I'm out of here. Oh, yeah, maybe I know the fella. I doubt it. Guy called Chalmundali. Never heard of him. Exactly. What's he do? He's a scientist. Well, what kind of a scientist? He lives in the jungle, says he's built a machine that can create limitless energy. I'm a patent lawyer. He wants me to write the patent. Make us all rich, okay? Capiche? Oh, I see. A mad scientist. Ugh. <sighs> around, mate. Guess next time I'll avoid the scenic route. Yeah, well, when you've had your bit of fun, I'll see you at the top. I don't know! I don't know! For God's sake, I've told you everything I know! For which I am deeply grateful. Nevertheless, it was always my intention to kill you. Goodbye, Mr. Cholmondley. How many times? It's not Cholmondley, it's... <laughs> it was a Sunday morning. I was three months behind on the rent and my editor had given me another bum assignment, an interview with some hacker about the end of the world. Where had it all gone wrong? Was I never going to get that lucky break? What had happened to my glittering career in journalism? And then, everything changed. It was quiet, but that didn't mean the place was empty. I needed to get into the apartment to find out what was going on. The door was securely locked. I needed to find another way if I was going to get into that apartment. Somehow I was going to have to climb past the railing to reach the apartment windows.
through the grime, I could see a shape. A shape that looked a lot like a body. It was the hacker's window, all right. The window was securely locked. I knew that climbing balconies was crazy, but the story had me hooked and I wasn't about to let it go. It was pretty dark, but I could just make out the shape of a bed. The window was ajar, but with the latch down, it was still locked. The gap was too thin, even for my fingers. Today's modern woman should never be without her lipstick. My press card. I never did like that picture. It's true, a press card can get you in anywhere. Just one little wiggle between the window and the lock and the latch lifted. Here goes. Whoever did the dusting here never got round to the TV. anything. The door was securely locked. Something shiny caught my eye. It was a shell casing from the gun the killer used. I held on to it. I needed any clue I could find. Who needs ornaments when you've got a TV? I knew I had to search the body. It was still warm. All I could find was his business card. Vernon Blier, software consultant. This was the crazy geek I'd been due to meet, all right. Maybe he wasn't so crazy after all. He was dead. Very dead. The computer had been wrecked. Someone had removed the hard drive in a hurry. The computer was badly damaged. This was one serious binder collection.
Get away from those doors. Over here. Where I can see you. Okay. Whatever you say. I've been waiting a long time for the chance to do this. So, we've met before? Oh, yes. Really? You obviously didn't make an impression the first time. You won't be so clever when I've killed you. Time's up! Over here, where I can see you. Okay, whatever you say. I've been waiting a long time for the chance to do this. So, we've met before? Oh, yes. Really? You obviously didn't make an impression the first time. You won't be so clever when I've killed you. Time's up. <laughs> going to stop us this time. I never forget her face. So why had I forgotten hers? Bye-bye, Tala. Ah! Get away from those doors. Over here. Where I can see you. Okay. Whatever you say. I've been waiting a long time for the chance to do this. So, we've met before? Oh, yes. Really? You obviously didn't make an impression the first time. You won't be so clever when I've killed you. Time's up. <laughs> You're not going to stop us this time. I never forget her face. So why had I forgotten hers? Ow! Oof! Damn! Come back, you salope! Where does she disappear to? 